What's going on guys, it's your boy Vega and today we're going to be talking about the Nike Air Max 1 in the Crep Hem colorway. Now I just want to say this right up the grip. This is an absolute banger. If you like Air Max 1s and if you like the fall time, this is a very good combination. Like always, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the sizing. Uh, the quality, my personal thoughts. I'll give you some good up close personal looks just in case you are in the market for this sneaker right here. But with that being said, let's get right into the video. All right, guys, let's get right into the video. And we have a regular Nike red white box right here. It's a little bit unfortunate because this is the 35th anniversary of the Air Max 1. This is a retro from the original 2004 release. And also it's a little bit more pricey than regular Air Max 1. So I was expecting a little bit something a little bit different, but at the end, it is what it is. I'm gonna rock the sneakers, not the box. For those that love labels and all that good stuff, we have a medium brown mint foam color right there. And that is the label right there. But we didn't come to talk about the box. Let's go ahead and talk about these sneakers right here. And we have the hell. You see, that's what I'm talking about. We didn't ask for this flimsy little box, Nike. We could have gotten something a little bit better, especially for this premium price. But any who, we came here to talk about the Nike Air Max 1 in the Crep Hem colorway. And as you can see, it is a very nice sneaker right off the bat, right off the grip, like I mentioned before. It has a bunch of materials that, in my opinion, complement each other. But let's start it off with the midsole. It is in this off-white color, and in the bubble, we have a mint green that, in my opinion, looks very clean. I wasn't a big fan of this color, but it just looks very good, and it's a nice pop to have in the sneaker. And the sole itself, let's go ahead and talk about that because that is the reason why they call this the crepe hemp color. It's because it is in this smooth crepe type of texture and it looks very clean and it, you know, it actually feels very nice as well. Now, as far as the toe box itself and pretty much all throughout the shoe, we have a dark brown. I don't necessarily wanna say this is a buttery smooth suede, but it's an okay suede, but the color itself looks very nice. Also in the toe box area, we have the hemp material. That is the reason why they call this sneaker the Crep Hemp colorway, because we have hemp material right there. And I am not a big fan of this material. Just because if it gets dirty, I think it's gonna be a pain in the ass to clean. And also on top of that, I feel that you can easily damage the sneaker if you're not careful. As we move along the sneaker, we have uh, another uh, material right there, which is canvas. It looks pretty nice. It complements the hemp right there. And then another layer of another material, which is a nice uh, smooth uh, suede, smoother than the toe box area at least. And then we have the Nike swoosh right there in leather in the mint green color. And then we can see we have uh, more hemp right there. And then out of nowhere in this um, eyelet right here, it kind of feels and looks like suede and it kind of looks like a gray color, which is kind of weird because it might not necessarily go with the sneaker, but it doesn't look bad. The inside liner right there in this uh, tan color right there, the tongue area, we have the Nike branding in the mint green color. And towards the back of the sneaker, we have the Nike Air branding again in the mint green colorway, which originally this was in a darker brown. So I'm not necessarily gonna go into the differences between the 2004 version, but the 2004 and the 2022, they have slight differences, which I'll probably put a picture right there just so you can see. And as you can see, it's probably a little bit darker in certain areas, especially in the hemp, that is the uh, most noticeable thing, but Tomato, tomato, like it's not a big deal. To me, this is a very clean color. Now, as far as sizing, let's go ahead and talk about that next. All right, guys, let's go ahead and talk about sizing really quick because that is always a question on reviews. And in my opinion, this sneaker runs true to size. I normally get a size 10 and a half on Air Max 1s. I did the same with this sneaker right here. And it feels a little, I'm just gonna say this again, a little, 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 tighter than a regular size just because of the materials. Now, keep in mind that when I wear a size 10 and a half on Air Max 1s, I have a good amount of room. They are not necessarily tight or anything like that. And again, these are not tight either. It just fits a little bit more snug, but they are true to size. So don't think that you should go up 
half a size or anything like that. I just want to point that out. And again, that is because of the materials. So that is my true size. And I also recommend that you get the same. So my final thoughts on the sneaker is that it's a very clean colorway. It is the type of colorway that you could easily rock all year round, especially if you like those neutral tones. But for the fall time, I think is a home run out of the park from Nike, especially bringing the sneaker back at this precise moment. And I stress that because, for example, they'll go ahead and uh, release the Halloween color uh, Nike Dunk Low on October 28th. By the time that you get it, Halloween is over with. So yeah, the struggle is real sometimes with the release dates. But with this one, they released it, in my opinion, at the right time. Prices are not that crazy right now. So if you really want a pair, I kind of suggest that you get it right now because this is the type of sneaker that slowly but surely starts going up. And it's because it was a little bit underrated. But once people start getting their hands on them, they see how nice it is, how it looks on outfits and all of that good stuff. Then I feel that this is a sneaker that would definitely go up in value. I am probably gonna rock this in my fall lookbook, which by the way, fall lookbook, it's gonna drop probably by the end of October. So keep an eye out on that as well. So if you like the sneaker, go ahead and cop. You're not going to be disappointed. That's pretty much it for today's video. Short, sweet to the point. And this is exactly what I was telling you in my last video. If you hear this, stupid little squeaky sound don't mind it because i'm about to throw the damn chair across the damn room like real talk man <laughs> either way this is what i'm talking about short sweet to the point like this is the type of sneaker reviews that i like your time is valuable my time is valuable and i just want to give you enough information for you to make a decision on the sneaker and just keep it moving now as far as the future of the channel i'm not going to become the sneaker youtuber or nothing like that i mentioned in my last video that i'm going to give you more of the sneaker content, more fashion tips, etc. Just kind of like how I used to do in the past. And this is the sneaker reviews that I'm talking about. Like we're in fall time. This is a brown, uh, neutral type of tone sneaker. And it deserves to be talked about right now. It's an underrated sneaker. I want to talk about underrated sneakers because a lot of people talk about the hype sneakers and they don't talk enough about these type of sneakers. And these are the type of sneakers that honestly people wear the most. The hype sneakers tend to be more for that special occasion, birthdays, whatever it is. You get what I'm trying to say. Either way, we're going to keep it moving. We're going to give you more of that sneaker content. We're going to give you more of those fashion tips, uh, outfit ideas, lookbooks. If you're new to the channel, I also do lookbooks as well, quarterly, every, every quarter, of course, every season. So thank you so much. If you are still listening and watching right now, um, go ahead and comment Dice Pineapple just to let me know that you really rock with your boy. Go ahead and subscribe, smash the like button. It really does mean a lot. And also hit that bell. That way you get notified every single time I drop a video. Also guys, if you're not doing so, follow me on Instagram at Carlos Vega. 101 i'm always updating the date and time of my videos and it's just a good little way to keep up with me as well with that being said till next time peace